Hello, today I will talk about electric charge and Coulomb's law and then give some numerical examples. First, let us discuss what is electric charge. Recall that an atom consists of uh, positively charged protons, negatively charged electrons, and neutral neutrons, as well as some other quantum particles. Inside a neutral atom, the number of protons must equal the number of electrons. As well note that protons do not move, while electrons can move. Let us now discuss how charge is created. Electric charge can be created by friction, contact and induction. Let us consider an example. We have two objects. Object 1 and Object 2. Object 1 has low electron affinity or a weak hold on electrons and Object 2 has high electron affinity or a strong hold on electrons. So if you rub these two objects together, there will be a transfer of electrons from object 1 to object 2 and hence after this, so, so from object 1 which has a low electron affinity towards the object 2, which has high electron affinity. And hence, after this, uh, the object 1 will be positively charged and object 2 will be negatively charged. Let us now discuss how to measure electric charge. The unit of electric charge is the Coulomb. So 1 Coulomb is the charge created by the excess or deficit of 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons. And the excess of electrons leads to an object to be negatively charged and the def deficit of electrons leads to an object to be positively charged. We have another definition called the elementary charge and it's created by the excess or deficit of only one electron. The elementary charge or one elementary charge is one E is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulombs. We can write this as 1 over 6.24 times 10 to the 18 Coulombs. We can also write that 1 Coulomb is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the 18 elementary charges or E. And from here we can also write the following formula that Q is equal to N times E where Q is the total charge and N is the number of elementary charges and E is the charge uh, per electron or 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs as we have discussed. We now introduce Coulomb's law which describes the electric force between two point charges 
So, Coulomb's law, first of all, states that if we have two like charges, such as two positive charges or two negative charges, <clears throat> then uh, the, por the, char the, the forces will be repulsive. So they will point away from each other, as shown here. However, if we have two opposite electric charges, the forces will be attractive, as shown here. So, as well, uh, Coulomb's law states that the force between two point charges is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between two charges and is directly proportional to the product of the charges. And let us state, let us write the formula uh, that uh, summarizes this relation. So the distance between the two charges <clears throat> is R and the charges are Q1 and Q2. So the distance in meters between the two charges is R and the charges are Q1 and Q2 and the force is proportional, directly proportional to the product of the two charges and it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two charges in meters. And note that here K is the Coulomb's constant which is given by 9 times 10 to the 9 which is given by 9 times 10 to the 9 newtons times meters squared per coulombs squared. As well, if the electric force F sub E is positive, it represents repulsion or repulsive forces and if it's negative or less than zero, it represents attraction or attractive forces. Let us now uh, do a simple example to illustrate uh, the application of Coulomb's law. <clears throat> We have two charges, Q1 is equal to negative 2 times 10 to the negative 12 coulombs, Q2 is equal to negative 3 times 10 to the negative 12 coulombs. <clears throat> and the distance between the two charges is r equals to 2 meters. So, let us uh, calculate the electric or Coulomb's for Coulomb force between these two charges. And using the formula that we have just discussed, F e equals to kq1 q2 over r squared, this is given by <coughs> 9 times 10 to the 9 newtons meter squared coulomb squared times negative 2 times 10 to the negative 12 coulombs which is q1 times q2 which is negative 3 times 10 to the negative 12 coulombs divided by r <coughs> r squared which is 2 meters squared 
And after carrying out this calculation, we obtain 1.35 times 10 to the negative 14 newtons. And this quantity is greater than zero. Therefore, the forces are repulsive. And we can also see that the forces are repulsive because these are both negative charges and like charges repel each other.